Or of uh, 8 o'clock Paris M is where you at. It's a Saturday morning breakfast. And it's a business breakfast. And when we talk business, we speak inspiration. We speak uh, systems. We speak uh, strategies. We speak uh, methodologies. How do we get there? And uh, we call in these gurus, these people who know exactly what are going on. And as far as uh, some uh, systems that you can actually employ. You know, uh, one great person says in business, you don't uh, manage people, but you manage systems. And uh, in your life, uh, you also don't, uh, you know, emotionally manage your life. You emotionally manage the systems in your life. Uh, this morning, it's a pleasure to have the big man uh, with a big mind. He's here to share some ideas with us. His name is Mr. Mgoshi. Mr. Mgoshi, how are you doing this morning? Um, very well, Apostle. Thank you for calling me a big man. I normally am not referred to as a big person, but uh, it's a pleasure. When how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It's, uh, it's been a long time, eh? It's been a while. It's yeah. been a while, but God has been good to you. You're looking bright. Expedocious. <laughs> Expedocious. Uh, and I noticed you even have a success curve. That is fantastic. <laughs> It's supposed to be my secret. That's oh, look, okay. yeah. they don't even know what we're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is Mr. Jonah Mungoshi. Yeah, yeah, uh, just call me Jonah. Let's let's be informal. Jonah. Yeah, okay. awesome. Okay, okay. Blood Jonah. <laughs> yeah, it's bull. <laughs> okay, okay, Jonah. Uh, tell us more about who Jonah is. And uh, yeah, what, uh, what, what, what can we brace ourselves for today? All right. So yeah. brace yourself for running the distance of a marathon, but at the speed of a sprint. So Jonah Mungoshi was born on the 2nd of April, 1968 in Zimbabwe in a town called Gweru. We went to Bumburi Primary School, Fletcher High School, Thornhill High School, and then University of Zimbabwe did business, worked for Anglo-American and then ZDB, now called IDBZ, and then CBZ and rose to become head of IT. And then after that, went into marketing, was deputy executive director of marketing and sales and resigned in 2003, set up his own company and is a management consultant. He does coaching. He also does facilitation of various activities, but he's passionate about applying technology to business. He's also a businessman running his, uh, his own business in consultancy. And in case my wife is listening, I'm happily married <clears throat> and I have uh, five children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people, yeah, 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 but they are, but there are also people who say, I'll make him as not border. So, I don't know what I mean. I would very married, right? You know, I have a lot of hands now. I'm married, I know, like that city. That's good, right? <laughs> so, shall we get into the business? Okay, so yeah, we we are talking about um, you today, and just before we get into the crux of what you want to talk about. Mm. Um, in this program, what we're trying to attain is, you know, we, we look at the world that we're living in and mm. we look at some of the things that are happening. Mm. We look mm. at the technologies that are there. And, mm. uh, you know, Zimbabwe, I think in Africa, it's got to be one of those uh, uh, countries with the biggest numbers of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you've got a voice. For not, not necessarily by choice, but yeah, mm. some yeah. of it is out of necessity. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes it's, it's you know, I was talking to another guy, sorry about this. We're talking about buying properties. You know, yeah. A lot of Zimbabweans own their property. True. So True. some things that happened in our country, mm -hmm. they actually ended up for the good. Yeah. You yeah. find in South Africa, you people who own their houses, mm. if particularly when you look at the black people, mm. almost 80% mm. are owned by banks. Yeah. But in yeah. Zimbabwe, people own their houses. True. 99%. Yeah. own their houses mm. paid for mm. okay mm. tell us what we're talking about today all right the first thing is this uh whatever i'm going to discuss here we just don't have enough time so if you're interested in practically applying what i'm sharing uh which can improve your business or if you are planning to start a business or even as an individual please do this right now send the letters ai no space in between nothing else not your name just the letters ai via whatsapp to 0773056736 so if you're interested in learning what i'm saying applying it practicing it and also getting help from me send ai just that AI to 0773-056-736. So what should happen is you should immediately get a message 
answering you and that message is coming from my phone and it's being automatically sent to you and already this is technology that is at your fingertips as mm -hmm. a business person this will cost you less than twenty dollars to have on your own phone to be able to have your own chatbot and instantly reply with an appropriate message to anyone who sends a message to you wow 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 so today we are talking about artificial intelligence and um and its relevance to today's businesses and automatically you've just triggered that already. exactly why don't you try it because in case this thing is not working no. uh, I sent you that that video yeah, so okay. just reply with AI and let's see if it will do it's what it's supposed to do okay AI just AI just that AI there we go uh, find a content okay not yet not yet all right Hopefully it'll come whilst I'm speaking. So the other thing I did is that before we started, I sent to Apostle. Has it responded? Now it's responded. Fantastic. Yeah. So you see, I didn't even touch my phone. Okay. <laughs> it's there and it has responded to you. Okay. And um, so what, I, what I've given you there. Okay. I'll explain it later. Okay. Now, so, so the things before we started, yeah. I sent you a video. Okay. You watched that video. Yeah. Any comment on the video? Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. Okay. What was on the video? Do you remember? There was a young lady. A young lady, right? Yeah. Yeah. A young lady, and and speaking with like an American accent. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now that lady is not real. Okay. That's a virtual person. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And that is at your fingertips. Okay. So what I did there is I took text, entered it into this program, and this is not even high tech. This yeah. is yeah. This is uh, okay. Marginally high tech. Yeah. I entered it. You choose an avatar. A person in an image so okay. they take a picture of a person but they've programmed it so that when a person speaks they are able to animate wow. the person's face wow <laughs> it's already started <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so you can choose any avatar you want okay and 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 the, this is available right now uh i mean there, there are various websites where you can do this okay. but what i wanted was just to demonstrate so i use this in my program this is pi 365 personal impact 365 the challenge i put on myself every single day for this year i send uh, a short video clip of about one and a half minutes maximum to people who subscribe to it and I post it on all my social media uh, platforms all about taking action because I'm all about action so this one is about gratitude uh, therapy where I'm saying practice gratitude today so okay. what I'm talking about today are tools that you can immediately use some of them free some of them pay you know costing very little as an entrepreneur because one thing about the, the, the situation we're in the past six months have started a process that will have earth shaking consequences okay people don't realize this especially in this part of the world over the past six months something incredible has happened uh there is a tool called chat gpt which was launched okay now chat gpt has just catapulted artificial intelligence to an unprecedented level okay and one thing about technology is this it's an equalizer the fact that you are in zim which might be going through its own um, mm -hmm. economic problems, etc., does not inhibit you from taking advantage of the very same tools that people in the U.S. are using, people in, mm -hmm. in, in Canada, people in the U.K. So technology is an equalizer. And one other thing is this. Technology, if you look at the trend, yeah. it's getting more powerful yeah. and cheaper. Okay. 2007, when uh, Steve Jobs launched the, the iPhone, it was oh. a phone for the rich. Okay. But look at what has happened. Pretty yeah. much everyone now has a smartphone. It yeah. might not be an iPhone. It might not be the latest in the range, yeah. but it's got the essential qualities that yeah. you need. Yeah. So yeah. technology is an equalizer and we can ride on that. Unfortunately, most of us have got this phobia of technology or some of us just trivialize it and we tend to use it for, for insignificant uses. But so far, I've covered two things. One mm -hmm. is... Uh, the automatic response that yeah. I've just shared, yeah. which is here. Yeah. And it's actually on a, uh, using an app called What's Auto. So if you want, you can go download What's Auto and you can use it free. But if you want premium features, then you pay a little bit of money. Uh, and then the second thing I covered is the video where you can get a virtual assistant or a yeah. virtual promoter, a virtual uh, you know, person. And that you can get online. You can try a website called Eli, Eli.io, E-L-A-I.io. Uh, the free version just gives you very little. But these are things you can do right now with the phone you already have okay or your now, laptop now mr jonah um we we're talking about artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and um we, we we've got people who are listening right now mm -hmm. and uh they, they they probably think okay wh what do i do with this exactly um, what 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 do i do with this artificial intelligence what are its benefits for me and my life 
great so let me start with that uh, one more uh, um low tech tool that i've got okay uh now this is on your phone right now it's on pretty much everybody's phone but i've realized to my surprise that most people are not using it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the group that i created i create a group and when you send that ai you receive the response and the very first line in that response is for you to join a group so in that group what i'm going to do is i'll dictate a message and as i dictate it my words will be transcribed into letters and then sent to to the group so let me do that i've started now so should i go into that group yeah yeah join the group quick 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 it's okay. already started okay I'm <laughs> so everything i'm saying now yeah. is actually being typed and i'll just press send <laughs> let me do that again so what what you do is if you look at this look at your phone uh you notice that there's a microphone right at the far right there where you type yeah there's a little microphone below that okay that little microphone is for the uh, dictation okay so right now whatever i've been saying uh was being transcribed and and when i press sent it's sent so this is all what, what can you use this for i mean if you're a business person then you can realize the immense potential instead of sitting down and typing you can dictate and at the end of the day you just transfer it you can then edit it and, and you can work on it and this okay. is available there's even a program online which does this professionally it's called otter otter o t t e r i can't remember okay. uh, the, the domain it might be dot com or dot ai i don't remember so okay moving on first let me quickly define what we mean by artificial intelligence okay artificial intelligence is when we get machines that can do what would ordinarily be done by human beings okay but at an advanced level okay so for example uh this dictation here when i was in the corporate world i told you i was a cbz oh i, I mentioned the name of the company i, I uh. used to work in banking and um we, we, around 2002 i got a program to sold dragon dragon voice recognition software okay. and i told uh, my pa um her name um was uh i can't remember and anyway, i told her that listen we are going to fire you because now i've got this advanced software <laughs> okay and then i started training it yeah and it wouldn't do what i want to do so mm. the complexity of taking voice and putting it to text is is cr crazy yeah but now we have cracked it because this thing it doesn't matter your accent even with my you know chief accent it still manages to get what i'm saying okay 99 of the time yeah so um you find that that is something that we would expect a human being to do to be mm -hmm. able to detect accents and then translate them to words etc so artificial intelligence is the ability of computers uh combining uh processing power mm -hmm. and uh software to do what human doing beings human beings can do machine learning is the new thing now now with machine learning we are getting into scary space okay all along and i've got a computer programming software development background okay. you tell the computer what to do okay with machine learning you don't okay you tell the computer to learn okay so there's gonna be a point where computers are more intelligent than us <laughs> because they are learning and they've got things they've got certain advantages we don't have okay they have they've got limitless memory okay right they they have got processing power that is, that is amazing and it keeps increasing okay. so all the data in the world yeah. this chat gp has managed to crunch it and when you when you ask it I, i'll talk about chat gp just now because that, that's the crowning thing is um, i'm listening to I'm, I'm listening from a pastoral uh, view yeah i'm thinking of my congregation and i'm <laughs> thinking about how 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 much this uh these apps yeah are just a game changer carry on oh they're, they're crazy crazy game yeah. changer and I'll, i've got use cases here that i'll that i'll deal with how okay. are we doing on time we at 30 uh, 836 we left with uh nine minutes nine minutes okay, okay. great yeah. so um machine learning yeah is you write programs for the machine to learn and to create its own algorithms and it improves itself as it goes okay so it it, it can uh, let's say uh the, the computer uh, the, the, it picks a certain stock let's say on the stock market okay uses uh, certain criteria mm -hmm. and then sees how the stock is performing and then does this on maybe 100 stocks 500 stocks and then it it uh, refines its own algorithm okay. and it goes on and it's building its own database it's building its own shortcuts and over time it becomes very very intelligent so there are ethical issues as well okay yeah there are ethical issues at stake but i'm not delving into those right now uh, some of the you know smaller ethical issues are to do with uh, plagiarism for example as you will see this thing can generate content 
okay. that you'd ordinarily think is, is, other is, human beings. Is it the same thing that I've seen on, um, which says you want us to hold, to write an assignment for you? Exactly. Okay. That's GPT. So that's what I'm g getting to now. So okay. GPT yeah. stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. That's what it's termed. Gen generative pre-trained transformer. Okay. So it's software that you train. So you could get, you know, files and files of stuff you have written. Okay. And then you, you give it to study. It goes through this. And now you say, write my next sermon on a topic I haven't covered before from the Bible and uh, use my style. Wow. And it does that. Wow. It does that better than you in some cases. Wow. Nasvatikanikutaurapamusoro <laughs> pel chain jerry with technology. Tinam goma Jonah Pan is giving us uh, some of these nuggets. I hope you guys are writing some of these things down. And uh, yeah, carry on, Mr. Jonah. I'm yeah. listening. I'm so, I'm feeding. Yeah. So so remember what I said. If yeah. you want to try these things out uh, yeah. for yourself, mm -hmm. then I strongly suggest you send the word AI to that number I gave you 0773 -0567 three six and once you get there you can join the group the whatsapp group because some of this i'll send after the show to that whatsapp group so let me now talk about the use cases okay so this morning i got up and uh i decided i actually got up at 1 30 and i was thinking what can i do to demonstrate the power of these things so that people can see what it, it's not something that is uh, out of their reach okay. it's not something that's out there for other people it's for everyone so i took the first case i said supposing there is um, a hairdresser by the name lucy so we call it a Lucy hairdresser, mm -hmm. right? And Lucy goes to chat GPT. So, uh, by the way, uh, unfortunately, we can't use the actual direct chat GPT in Zimbabwe. When you go to OpenAI, it tells you Zimbabwe is not one of the countries that's allowed to use chat GPT. What? What? I, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, but there are ways of getting around it. So if you're interested in trying out what I'm talking about here, use gptgo.ai. 100% free. When you get there, it just gives you uh, a bar that says, ask a question, ask me anything. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So asking, the art of asking the machine is actually called, uh, the, the text that you put to ask the machine to do something is called a prompt. So there's actually a new industry that has opened uh, where people are doing what's called prompt engineering. Okay. Because the, 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 the more accurate your prompt is, the better the data you got. So for Lucy, this is the prompt I gave it. I said, my name is Lucy. And I am a self-employed hairdresser. Write an advert for me in my own words. Wow. This is what I gave. And, and listen to what it gave me. By the way, sorry, I forgot my, my reading glasses at home, but I can just about read this. It says, hi there. My name is Lucy Moyo, and I am a self-employed hairdresser. Are you tired of bad hair days and searching for a trustworthy stylist? Look no further, because I am here to give you the hair of your dreams. I specialize in various hairstyles from, uh, oh my word, I can't read this now. From braids, yeah, from braids and weaves to uh, cutting and, uh, Bibi, are Can you I able to come and read this for us? Yeah, please. Okay, let me give yeah. it a... I can read it. Don't yeah, me. sure. Okay. Mm. You want to read it? You can take it from where? Well, I was on the second paragraph. Okay, second paragraph. And you say, hi there, my name is Lu. Okay, uh, I specialize in various hairstyles uh, from braids and weaves to cutting and coloring. I understand uh, that everyone has unique hair types and uh, preferences. Uh, so I customize each appointment to fit your specific needs. As a self-employed stylist, I prioritize building a, a personal relationship with each of my clients. Uh, you, you can trust me uh, to listen to your concerns and uh, provide honest advice for achieving the best possible results don't hesitate to book an appointment with me today follow me on instagram lucy more your hair uh, to see my work stay updated on oncoming promotions i look forward to meeting you on your trans on transforming and transforming your hair wow wonderful stuff yeah all i did was enter that prompt okay. that i told you about Enter another prompt <laughs> i could do another prompt okay. but uh, for now let me let me just because i'd already done a number of them okay. so i then thought all right that's that's lucy's situation she yeah. wanted an advert here is an advert wow it's up to her now maybe to take it to somebody to uh do some graphics with it oh by the way they've now got programs that can generate pictures for you it's called stable di sta Sa stable diffusion <laughs> that's the thing yeah, we, we need to, to be excited, but at the same time, we need to make sure that we don't become so the Nokia for you. 
It can do a poster for you, yes. Okay. Easily. Wow. Easily. Uh, what I found with stable diffusion programs, because I've been testing them, is that uh, they're not so good at generating human beings. Okay. Yeah. So, but but they're getting there. So you can say generate uh, a, a picture of uh, three beautiful African women uh, sitting in a boardroom, and it generates them. But I've seen you know, some of the features are not not quite okay. But th things like landscape, uh, like you know, just just physical things like generate an expensive car in front of a white building, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. No problem. There are dangerous things also happening. There's cloning, like voice cloning. Okay. So for example, you can record your voice. You just let's say you phone me, right? Yeah. I, 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 okay. If I have bad intentions, <laughs> yeah. You phone and I've got this software. It just listens to a few first few lines of your voice, and then after that, I can give it whatever text I want, and it sounds exactly like you. Wow. With your accent, your intonation, etc. So there, there are pros and cons. There, there are people who have been using this badly, but let's move on. I looked at another use case and I said, well, supposing there's somebody called Takun, uh, well, whatever his name is, somebody registers a company. Yeah. And this company is called Takunda Motor Mechanics. And then Takunda Motor Mechanics says, I need to have a, a business plan. And I really don't know where to start from. I Actually, a strategy. I need to have a strategy. Can I go into um, Chat GPT? or gptgo.ai, the one I've, I've said, and, and get it to help me. So I came up with this prompt. You can read the prompt, and also you can read what came out of uh, AI from there. Okay, so uh, the prompt was write, uh, write a strategy for a company that I have uh, just started uh, called Takunda Motor Mechanics. Uh, we specialize in servicing secondhand uh, Japanese vehicles imported into Zimbabwe. And the result is like this Establish yourself as an expert uh, in Japanese uh, vehicle air servicing. Uh, and one of the biggest selling points for your company is that you specialize in Japanese vehicles. Uh, make sure your staff is knowledgeable in the uh, this area and communicate this expertise in all your communications foster number two foster a relationship with Japanese importers in Zimbabwe reach out to prominent Japanese car importers in Zimbabwe and offer your services as their go-to mechanics for all Japanese cars they bring in this will actually help you to build a reliable base of customers and the third thing it writes is invest in training for your mechanics as you specialize in uh, Japanese cars uh, make sure your mechanics are up to date with uh, the latest technologies and techniques uh, for fixing uh, these vehicles uh, this will actually help you to ensure that uh, your customers uh, receive the highest quality service uh, and the fourth point is offer a loyalty program to encourage uh, uh, repeat business uh, offer a loyalty program that rewards customers uh, for returning uh, uh, for returning uh, for regular service uh, you could offer discounted rates and repeat customers or uh, or other incentives to keep them coming back five use social media to build up your brand social media is a vital tool to marketing your business post regularly about your services discounts and promotions Facebook Twitter Instagram you could also encourage satisfied customers to post views on the social media platform and the sixth point it says is a uh, uh, Partner with the uh, local businesses. Partnering with other local businesses can actually help you to build uh, your presence in that community. Consider partnering with all local uh, uh, dealerships, gasoline stations, or your accessory shops. Number seven, uh, expand your services as your business grows. Consider uh, expanding your services uh, to include car sales and secondhand Japanese vehicles. Uh, this can actually help you to increase uh, your revenue streams uh, and build your business even even further remember building a successful business takes time patience persistence stay focused providing excellent service to your customers and your reputation will grow along with your business wow <laughs> mm, interesting stuff eh? so imagine even if you are a consultant like I have yeah and uh, you've but got this advantage no yeah. no no you use this okay. so instead of consulting with 10 people I can do a hundred yeah <laughs> because it only takes is for me to format the right prompt so the last one I thought, what if there's somebody who is out there, uh, maybe ana kwe ndere mberi nechikoro, aka ngumira panzira, maybe ana kana mari yekutanga business. What, 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 what can a tool like this, how can a tool like this help a person like that? So read the prompt and then the response. 
Okay, the, the, the prompt is, what business can I start in Harare, Zimbabwe as a high school dropout with no money? Results, uh, starting a business with no money can be a challenging thing, uh, but it's not impossible in Harare, Zimbabwe. There are several businesses that you can start uh, with little or no capital. Here are some ideas. Uh, street vending. Uh, you can sell snacks, uh, fruits, uh, clothes, and other small items uh, on the streets of Harare. This is um, a common business in Zimbabwe, and it requires minimal capital to start and the second thing is cleaning services you can offer cleaning services to homes businesses in Harare this is another business that requires a little capital and you can also start by marketing your services to friends and family third thing a photography services if you have a smartphone or a camera you can actually start a photography business you can offer your services at events or businesses that need a product photo for their websites number four delivery service with increasing popularity of the e-commerce delivery services are uh, the high demand it goes on and on so social, yep. <laughs> social media marketing and it also ends up by saying remember that starting a business requires hard work dedication patience it's important to do your research network with others and stay committed to your goals wow Loving it, loving it, absolutely <laughs> awesome stuff. And in case you're wondering, this is a very cheap cell phone I've got. It's not an iPhone or any of those fancy things. So you have no excuse. That same data you are using for sending pointless messages, or going you could to use follow it. some social media exactly on Facebook. Yeah. yeah, you can actually use it for something that is useful for you. You can invest into your future that way. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I'm telling you, this this technology is in this format where it is consumable by volumes of people is in its infancy mm -hmm. and you know what happens you can get a first mover advantage if you start doing this before most people are doing it because there'll come a point when everybody's now when this is the norm and the opportunities will be gone so take advantage of this right now whether you're in business i mean i can't imagine any aspect of our lives that's mm. not going to be touched by this wow it's it's just amazing it's been amazing being with you, John. I, you know, I, I would like us to do this again. And uh, I, I've actually felt uh, fertilized myself and, uh, <laughs> yeah, well equipped. And, uh, yeah, if people want to get in touch with you, what's the number they can get in touch with you? 0773-056-736. Just send the word or the letters AI. No space, nothing else, AI to 0773-056-736 and that'll be the beginning of a life-changing conversation. Wow. <laughs> I need to give you a round of applause, my guy. This has been edifying. Hi, Bibi. What we benefit over? Yeah, my guy. This is awesome stuff. <laughs> That's Thank the kind you. of stuff that we like on a Saturday morning. I'm definitely going to call you back again. We need to uh, really create a lot of time and we talk about this issue. And uh, this is Saturday morning business. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's the Champions Paradise. But is my name. Uh, John Mungoshi was in the place to be. And John has given us a number. Give us that number once again before we uh, say goodbye. 0773-056-0773-056-056-736. Yeah. Great. Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much, guy. And uh, may God bless you. May God just continue to explode your mind. I uh, receive a postcode. <laughs> Normalcy is overrated. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Track. Uh, I'm, I'm playing this track for uh, for Jonah before he goes. It's a track coming through from Janet Manyoa. A track called Wakakosha Jonah. <laughs> God bless you, my guy. Bye-bye.